We propose a new learning-based approach to designing visual markers that can be adapted to serve as visual codes, markers for augmented reality, and robotic fiducial tags. In our approach, markers are generated by a feedforward network that we call a synthesizer. This network takes as an input a bit string and outputs an image which serves as a marker. Our approach also trains a recognizer network that is designed to recover the coded bit string from uh, the visual marker. The recognizer thus reverses the action of the synthesizer, and we judge the success of the training process using the loss function that compares the input bit string and uh, its recovered version. To simulate the effects associated with printing and taking a photograph, we introduce a rendering network. This network sequentially applies several kinds of transformations to the marker uh, prior to submitting it uh, to the recognizer network. These transformations include superimposing on a random background, blurring, geometric distortion, and various coloring and intensity transformations. All three networks are composed of piecewise differentiable layers, which allows us to train the parameters of the synthesizer and the recognizer jointly uh, in an optimization process based on stochastic gradient descent using backpropagation. For each batch, we sample bit strings and render network parameters randomly. As a result, the recognizer network is tuned to the synthesized visual markers and the synthesized visual markers are tuned for the recognizer network. This slide shows the real recognition examples for different families of our visual markers, both color and grayscale. In our demo interface, the user is asked to align the visual marker with the black rectangle. For each image here, the second number shows the overall bit length, and the first number is the number of the correctly recognized bits. While the recognition network uh, does not work perfectly, this can be fixed using any error-correcting coding approach. Additionally, we can add another term into the optimization process at training time. This term can control the visual appearance of the resulting markers. For example, in this work, we add a term that matches the appearance of the markers to a certain visual texture. Here are some examples. In each row, we show first the texture prototype and then a set of visual markers produced by our synthesizer network after training. These animations are produced by changing one bit at a time in order to demonstrate the variability of the markers. Surprisingly, the resulting markers are relatively robust to occlusions, even though the occlusions were not modeled by our engine network. This suggests that some sort of distributed representation is learned within our approach. Thank you for your attention.